We're joined at midday by Miss Charlene Patton with the Kansas Soybean Commission, and we've been making Valentine's treats throughout the morning, and now we're doing it again at noon. So we're making caramel layered chocolate pie, and these are easy treats, right, that anyone can make and share, and maybe include the kids and grandkids too, right? Exactly, because it's also baked for family fun months That's to get the kids involved in the kitchen. So I have already done the first layer, <clears throat> and we you, to make this easy. We've just purchased a graham cracker crust here. Okay. And you could use a chocolate one if you wanted to. You mm -hmm. could use, they have lots of choices. But then in a, a small saucepan, there are um, 30 of the Caramel? little caramels. Oh, yes. Okay. A great activity for kids to unwrap all those because it takes a little bit you, of time to unwrap. I have kids. You better all believe those. they're doing it. That's yeah. a lot of time for me. So, yeah, they can do that. <laughs> they can do that. So melt that with just a little bit of margarine and a little bit of soy milk okay. until it's nice and smooth. And then put that in there and then let it set up, put it in the refrigerator. Okay. And the second layer that I'm going to work on is one eight ounce package of soy cream cheese. Mm -hmm. I've got a half a cup of powdered sugar okay. and a little bit of vanilla. There we go. And then while I'm mixing this, uh -huh. you have two cups of our whipping cream, yes. and then I melted a half a cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips, and you're gonna fold that all together, and that's the top layer. So now, there's you know actually- you know this is also always really easy to do, and I think that it's easy because you're here and you've measured, pre-measured everything out, but it really, <laughs> when I do it at home with the girls, it's still easy, but it's easier <laughs> when you're here, Charlene. Yeah, it is. Well, you know, it is great when you're doing, working with kids, you brought up a great point to have things measured out because then it goes yes. much faster and easier. Use bigger utensils, bigger bowls, and as you say, allow more extra time than it what is. you'd usually but do. But you know, for the littles, I would say measure it out. But for, for mine at their age now, you've said this before, and so I've started doing it, is they learn about measuring by doing it. Exactly. So it, it gets very messy, but I let them do it now. <laughs> and you know what? It's great math skills. It is. Let them practice. And I like to also ask them, oh, if this is a recipe that you love, if we doubled that ingredient, then how much would it be? If it was a half a cup, would it be a cup? You know, give them some a chance to kind of think about their recipes okay. with their Charlene, hands. I read for a living, friend. So <laughs> I'm not asking the kids I don't know an answer to, okay? You know I don't do the math, okay? Okay, so now <laughs> I put the cream cheese yes. in there, and I would put that in the refrigerator and let that set up a little bit. Okay. But we're going to go ahead and add the chocolate mousse layer okay. and put that on there and just pour that on there. Then this would go in the refrigerator to set up probably for about an hour so that that okay. sets up really good and then <clears throat> you can uh, serve that into oh gosh nice portions and then i put a little bit more of the melted chocolate on the top oh and okay. a little bit of whipped cream can and I a strawberry it? so yeah, you have a that. great that is beautiful i love that oh and I, I mean it's everything i love right chocolate <laughs> caramel all mixed together <laughs> there Oh, perfect. Okay, so where do people go to get the recipes? Yes. This one and also the ones from earlier today. Yes, we have them all there. And they go to kansassoybeans.org or they can call our 800 number, 877-KS-Soybean. All right, Charlene, thank you so much. Thank you, Jared. Right now, let's head over and take a final look at the forecast.